Welcome back to the channel. Aaron here for the love of tech and I'm taking you back on another unboxing. That's right, it feels like an unboxing that we kind of just did and it is, but it's not. It's just a little bit different. Don't go anywhere and find out what we're getting into today. So if you didn't go anywhere and you're still here, you probably saw this box sitting here the whole time. Anyways, this is the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3, the 45 millimeter measurement in silver. I had previously gotten the 41 in the Mystic Bronze and we both know how that turned out. If you haven't watched that video, I will go ahead and link it down below or up there in the card or somewhere. So this watch is a little bit different. I went and returned the other one. Uh, the watch strap was a bit snug on my wrist. So the bronze only came in the 41 millimeter and I thought maybe I was seeing things, I don't know. But I bought it, I wanted to give it a try and it's just too small for this wrist. So we got the 45 and I'm really excited to get into it and to actually try it because I haven't even had a chance to use the watch three because I put it back in the box and I returned it after the unboxing. Yeah, I kind of did that. Shh, don't tell anyone. But I got this one in exchange. Without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the uh, 45 silver. I went with silver because in the past I've only had, you know what, I think my other watch was silver. My first one was black. So I wanted to give silver a try. I like how it looked. So I figured let's see what it does. And this is actually really nice. This looks like like a grown-up watch, if you don't mind me saying that. Look at this beautiful thing right here. It's actually really light in comparison to its predecessor, the Watch 2, which I actually have right here for comparison. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first and foremost, that band is really nice. I just want to highlight how nice that leather band is. This watch is not a cheap device. I don't even want to tell you how much I paid for the LTE version, but what I do want you to know is that I'm impressed. And considering what some Apple watches cost, this is by far Samsung's higher end top tier smartwatch. They have a handful of uh, wearable technologies available and this one is definitely top of the line. This is the Samsung Active 2 watch, which I love. It has a great strap, it feels great. It has a phenomenal screen, a great battery life. Why am I switching? Well, I like this one and I wanna give it a try. That's why. We have our uh, charging cable, which I actually have with us the previous uh, charging device for the Watch 2. And this is a lot of stuff, if you will. We've got the brick, we've got the cable, we've got the USB-B, so it's not even like fast charging. And then we have this cradle. Whereas this, one cord, really easy compact so that's the great news about the samsung watches tizen i believe is the operating system this is tizen 5 so i'm really excited to dig into it and to see what the differences are but before we do that we have to go ahead and pair it up and let's see how easy that does all right so we're going to go ahead and turn this on if i had to guess pushing and holding one of these buttons will do it so there we go so that is turning on i'm going to come over here to my one plus device Come over to our gear wearable app, add a new device, picking watch three. <laughs> pairing code successful, tap to start. Still pairing. A few moments later. Okay, we're being congratulated on our new watch. Gotta add a little plug in. I'm gonna throw everything on there except marketing because we do not want marketing on there and we're going to skip setting up the LTE for the moment. All right, so here we go. Battery, 62%. I'm amazed at how light this is. Samsung did a great job at uh, really turning down the weight of this thing. So take a look around. Same old, same old. All right, so let's just go ahead and take a look at both of these watches and a couple differences. This, of course, is a lot thicker. I mean, look, look at that. This 
compared to that. The weight of this, it's so heavy. It's almost like now that I'm on it, I'm thinking to myself, why did I have this thing on my wrist for, it was so heavy, this is so light. And that's one of the reasons why I like this one more than I liked wearing this one, because this one was heavier. The screen is really beautiful. I mean, for it being a watch, this thing really, really looks amazing. I'm still on the look for the uh, Samsung blood pressure. I uh, said somewhere that Samsung was now going to be able to take blood pressure with their watch. So I still don't know where that came from. I went back and I researched and it was in the keynote. I did not hear things. They specifically said blood pressure. So I don't know if you know where the app is or how to activate it, let me know. I can't find it. I don't know where it is. The watch feels amazing. I mean, I know the battery life is gonna be phenomenal. It looks good. It has a leather strap, which looks high end premium i absolutely love it great job samsung but yeah that's it i think the watch looks great it feels good i'm a lot more excited about this watch than i was for the one that i unboxed just a couple days ago even though i liked that color more this one fits me way better and um it's more my style guys thanks for watching the video i know it's like the second unboxing of the same thing but every once in a while we get to do that like comment subscribe show me some youtube algorithm love let youtube know that hey maybe this guy should be worth recommending to people guys till next time for the love of tech namaste